Hey everyone, welcome to My Apple Zone. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you my top picks for the best free applications for the Mac. So the first free application that I'm going to talk about is Skype. Skype allows you to make voice over IP calls from one computer to another computer. You can make a call from a Mac to a Mac, Mac to a PC, PC to a Mac, PC to a PC, any combination as long as both those computers have uh, the Skype client. You can also do video calls and instant messaging. You can do video calls if you have a webcam or an iSight cam built into your Mac. And you can also buy uh, uh, local international calling packages so you can call from your computer uh, to a landline, a local landline or an international uh, landline. And those packages run from anywhere from uh, two cents to five cents a minute and you can buy those from Skype.com. Skype's a great application. I use it all the time to stay in touch with friends and family. If you're not using Skype, I highly recommend that you download it and check it out. Great application. You'll love it. The next uh, free application I want to talk about is Handbrake. Handbrake is an application that allows you to take your DVDs and convert them into MPEG-4 file format uh, for viewing on iTunes, on uh, Apple TV, uh, your iPad, your iPhone, or your iPod Touch. Uh, it's got a lot of great features. It's really configurable. You can uh, change the video quality, the uh, video size, the audio quality. There's a bunch of advanced options. Um, Handbrake is available for both the Mac and the PC. However, the Mac version has additional codecs to allow uh, for decoding uh, most, if not all, DVDs. And Handbrake is being updated all the time to include additional codecs to uh, decode uh, new DVDs as they come out with um, newer encryption schemes. Again, Handbrake, great application. Check it out if you, uh, if you haven't already done so. So the next free application that I'm going to show you is called Electric Sheep. Electric Sheep is a collaborative uh, abstract artwork founded by uh, Scott Draves. It's run by thousands of people all over the world and can be installed on any Mac or PC. When the computers sleep, Electric Sheep comes on and computers communicate with each other uh, over the internet to share the work of creating abstract animations known as sheeps. The result is a collective Android dream uh, called the Dream of the Electric Sheep. Anyone watching one of these computers may vote for their favorite animation using the keyboard. The more popular sheep live longer and reproduce according to the genetic algorithm with mutation and crossover. So what you're seeing is the free screensaver called Electric Sheep and you can vote for the screensaver that you like the best. And as other people vote, these screensavers change. It's a really fascinating screensaver. Uh, free download. Uh, check it out. So the next uh, free application I'm going to talk about, I've already done a video on, and it's uh, FaceTime for the Mac. And basically, FaceTime allows you to make um, video calls from uh, a Mac to a Mac, or from an iPhone to a Mac, or a Mac to an iPhone. It's in beta from Apple and um, great application. I've done a couple uh, video demonstrations that uh, you guys can check out. So that's uh, FaceTime for the Mac. Another great free application is SoundSource. SoundSource is an application that runs in your menu bar and not and not in your dock. And SoundSource quite simply allows you to change the output source, output volume, input source, input volume, system volume, and a bunch of other preferences on the fly without having to go to your system, uh, without having to go to your system preferences that is. Great application, I use it all the time. So if you've got headphones or external speakers, you can quickly switch the uh, external uh, audio source the volume, the internal audio source, uh, again, a bunch of other preferences that you can set up, and it runs right here in your menu bar. Um, great little application, and that is SoundSource. 
Another free application that I really like a lot is Plex. Plex is an application that allows you to manage all of your media in one location. Right now I'm using it to manage my movies and my music. You can use it to manage mu movies, music, photos, any piece of media. Um, Plex also allows you to download specific plugins to play, for example, specific movie for uh, video formats. Um, again, I'm using it to manage my movies and my music, so let's check out the movie section. What I really like about Plex is the metadata that it downloads from the internet. Um, I, I told it where my movies were, and it downloaded the title, the rating, the year, the duration, a description of the movie, the uh, poster, the movie poster, and um, um, some formatting information here and a really cool background image. Uh, it does that for all the movies that you have uh, stored on your computer. And let's go ahead and play a um, quick clip. Not going to play the whole movie because if I do that, it'll violate uh, YouTube's copyright policy. So just play a really quick clip here. Anyway, so there you there's a quick demonstration of Plex. Again, use it to manage all of your media in one place. Really like this application. If you haven't tried out Plex, so. I encourage you to try it out. So those are my top picks for the uh, best free apps for the Mac. Um, there's a bunch more free apps that I want to talk about in another video that I'll be doing uh, soon. And I'll also be doing a tour of my doc. Um, there's some applications there that you might be interested in knowing more about. So I'm going to be doing a what's in my doc tour in an upcoming video. So uh, check that out. Um, and uh, as always, uh, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up really helps me out, really helps to build the community. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe. And if you've got questions, please leave a comment down below or send an email to uh, myapplezone at gmail.com. And uh, until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.